Welcome to The Miracle You, guiding you on the journey towards finding passion and purpose and how to discover, create, and live a life by your design. Whether your success has been plentiful or your missed opportunities have been overwhelming, we can help you become a more empowered, masterful person and show you how to share your gift with the world. It's time to inspire change from within with the host of The Miracle You, Vince Kramer. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the special edition of The Miracle You, the Awakening Through Moments of Choice book series with Mary. Throughout the series, Mary will share with you her insights and feelings on our story that was shared in the book from my perspective. We know that what she has to share will enhance your experience reading the book. Let's get started. Here's Mary. Hi. And welcome to this episode of the Awakening Through Moments of Choice series. In this episode, I'll be talking about what it was like to be in relationship with someone who was tapping into the unseen realms in the wee hours of the night while I slept. To give you a deeper understanding from my perspective of our journey, if you don't have the book yet, you can purchase it at Amazon using the link in the show notes. The next chapter of Vince's Awakening was much more subtle. We had moved to Los Angeles to make it easier for him because he was stationed there with United Airlines. He had been commuting back to Colorado Springs at the end of each trip and to start one. I had sold my property management business and stopped actively showing houses. My life had changed so much since I met Vince that I wasn't able to give real estate the needed attention it demanded as a business. Beth became the primary agent in our relationship, which allowed me to be at arm's length, but still involved as needed. Living in the beach cities and then Torrance gave us a lot of time when he was home from flying to walk the beach and talk. One of the greatest gifts living there was our resident pass to Disneyland, where we visited nearly every month. The two years we lived in California was the simplest for each of us both needing to de-stress from our complicated lives in Colorado and the most significant as far as moving us forward. It wasn't long after his awakening channeling with Aloria that he started having sleepless nights I was wondering what the effect of the channeling would be. Of course, I had many rich and educational conversations with Vince as he wanted to know how unique that channeling was or what did it all mean. I shared with him about how all of us are born with psychic abilities, but often had to wake up to them. It seemed to me that Vince was discovering that he was clairvoyant. In the channeling, Archangel Michael said to look up in his mind's eye and he would see colors. I explained that clairvoyants are able to see and understand things deeply. He was seeing colors at night. This was the beginning of our journey to creating our company, Imagine Miracles. I would wake up in the middle of the night and I could tell by Vince's quiet, steady breathing that he was not asleep. For some reason, this awareness would jolt me awake into full consciousness or readiness. I could feel that awareness in my body. It was as if a light switch was flipped on. I would go from sleep to groggy to fully awake in seconds. I would lie perfectly still waiting for a sound from him that was familiar to sleep sounds coming from someone else and nothing. The connection Vince was experiencing was to me exciting, unknown, and special. I would wait until either he moved, which signaled the connection was over, or I would wait until I fell asleep again. If I was still awake when the connection was broken, I would ask him what had happened. Unfortunately, there were many times that he couldn't remember. The connection would be broken and the experience forgotten to his conscious mind that fast. When I would fall asleep waiting for the connection to stop, I would wake up in the morning and immediately ask him what had happened. We had been learning a lot about the vibration of essential oils, sound healing with a set of Tibetan bowls Vince had given me for Christmas, the vibration of nature and sacred sites. But it wasn't until Vince couldn't remember the information he was receiving in the night 
that he started to learn from the guidance about the reason he couldn't remember when he woke up, vibration. Listeners, did you know our ego sleeps when we do? So Vince would commune with his guides while his subpersonalities were sleeping, then wake up and they wouldn't let him remember. They are in a lower vibration than the higher vibration that he could access in his dream or hypnagogic state. We were learning so much together, and Vince was learning even more from his guides. I didn't understand then that he was being instructed. I didn't know that he was being given information beyond current scientific knowledge on how the universe works and how we connect in with the universal energies to find happiness, abundance, and health. That was all to come to light in the future. In the meantime, as these nights of sleeplessness wore on, I became less curious and more concerned that he was getting too exhausted. I also felt like I was out of the loop. This feeling started to make me feel like there was another relationship Vance was having, and I was starting to have the associated feelings of being left out creep up on me. Sometimes it was a toss-up between my concern for Vince's well-being and my negative feelings of being the third wheel. Feeling left out and all alone in a crowded room is something I've dealt with since a young child. The subtle but familiar thoughts of being alone would create a chronic stress in my body triggering the flight, fight, or freeze response. By 49 years old, I was mostly living in the fight response than flight. It would be years before I would learn from his guides that I could change my thoughts and vibration and by doing that, change my body's response by working with the resistance I was feeling like being the third wheel or feeling lonely in a crowded room. These sleepless nights made Vince tired and made me very concerned. I would make sure he got naps during the day and and we would have talks about turning the volume down with his guides. Vince, I'd say, you can ask them to not share with you tonight or you can ask them to only share one thing per night. This suggestion I made helped Vince get more sleep and certainly helped my anxiety. I needed a solution that would benefit both of us, so I went in search for yoga that we could do together that would help us both with the energies we were opening ourselves up to. We had done lots of yoga together before, but I needed something that could help us handle the energy influxes that were so new to us. I was attracted to dawn yoga. There, we found the elixir. They were all about energy, the body meridians, the body chakras, releasing emotions, and meditations. This was 2012, and I didn't know then how much this company was aligned with our future Imagine Miracles. Over the months going to yoga, I noticed that Vince's body was handling the energy much better. I looked forward to the couple of days he was home from flying each week to spend our mornings at the yoga place. One day, we were in the car together after having enjoyed another yoga class. He said to me, You know, lately when we finish our group class with the magnet meditation, I'm seeing colors. I thought this was so intriguing. I would enjoy the relaxation of the meditation at the end of every class, but I wasn't seeing colors. I was just happy if my mind would be quiet for one minute at a time and feel the satisfaction of feeling the energy centers vibrate. But to see colors? Wow. And this one day he said he had connected with Archangel Michael on demand, so to speak. In my mind, I tied together what he was told in his Aloria channeling and the colors he would see at night with the information he would get. So I asked him if he would give channeling a try. He was driving and snapped his head in my direction and said, no, me channel? No way. I replied, yes, you, of course you. It all makes sense. I knew him well and I knew that even though he said no, he would be thinking about it. I let it drop for that time in the car, but I kept on encouraging him for what seemed like months. Finally, 
One day he said, okay, let's try it. He describes in chapter 20 how this was for him and how he knew there had to be a better way than being awakened in the wee hours of the night. Oh, wow, I was excited. I had shared with him the spiral meditation that Brew Joy taught. I reminded him of this meditation that I knew about and had recommended to several people, but had never done successfully myself. I allowed my mind to be too busy. When he finally agreed to it, I said, Here, lie down on the floor and go into a meditative state with the spiral. I sat down on the floor next to him and guided him into a relaxed state using some hypnosis techniques we had both learned together. I watched him as he followed my voice, and he became deeply relaxed. I was delighted, but I had no idea what would happen next. I could only guess that he was seeing the colors that he saw in the magnet meditation. I sat very still and waited. All of a sudden, he scared me to death when he started hacking and coughing, but his eyes were still closed. I was just waiting with my eyes as big as saucers. And then, with his eyes closed, the coughing subsided and he opened his mouth and said, Good afternoon, in the softest voice like a whisper and like someone with a very sore throat. I said, Good afternoon. And the voice said, We are doing our best to get through him. It will get better if you keep practicing. I was exhilarated. And if I hadn't been afraid, I would ruin the moment. I would have tapped Vince and said, Oh my God, you did it. I waited, though, until Vince opened his eyes again, and then I tapped him and said, Oh my God, you did it. This moment in time was the beginning of the next phase of our journey together. I couldn't wait for the times he would be home during the week so we could practice, and we did. I was so excited to have this in our lives. I was so excited to be able to share this gift with the world. I knew then it would be a part of Imagine Miracles, but how was yet to be seen. Vince shares in chapter 21 about the fears he had about becoming a channel. He heard the all too familiar voices in his head warn him about what would people think? Would people still respect him? I came up through the metaphysical lens of the fascination of the paranormal. As I mentioned, my exposure was pretty limited to the understandings of the Ascended Masters and my mother's studies and influence. But there was still a sense that all of these abilities were not only outside of us, but were gifted to us. That perspective brought me to the belief that people who were sensitive, empathic, or could channel were special. That belief of being special did not last long in my new world and the new paradigm that his guides opened my eyes to. I continue to this day to have to work with my ego, or really my subpersonalities, who think from the old paradigm of competition, where being special is the way to get my fair share. Instead, I think about how I and you can be an example of high vibration And how just that ripples out to everyone we come in contact with. Now that is special. I hope today's episode gave you a broader insight into the section of the book I covered. We all have personal journeys and they are very different. Yet, they have the same common thread. We are called to wake up and listen to our messages to grow and expand. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about how our honeymoon time in California had prepared us for the next big steps we took together. Please enjoy the book. You've completed this episode of The Miracle You, but we have plenty more to help you discover your own personal passion and purpose. Head over to TheMiracleYou.com for free resources to assist you on your journey, as well as register for our free webinar, Discover Your Miracle Life, Three Mind Awakening Steps Toward Your Unique Purpose, or apply for a one-on-one Your Life, Your Way breakthrough session and discover your next best step on your journey. 
All available exclusively on our website. That's themiracleu.com. We look forward to sharing more experiences of passion, purpose, and life by design next time, right here on The Miracle You.